So happy material underscore save data is to create the new material numbers. Okay, this is alternative for BDC program. Okay, so our yeah. BDC program okay. can be replaced with this BAPI. As long as there is a BAPI available, always go with the BAPI function module, not don't go for BDC. Okay. Okay. Oh. So now observe, this is the BAPI and these are the importing parameters. Importing parameters means we have to pass the inputs. What are the mandatory okay. parameters here? Header data is the yeah, header mandatory header. parameter. Yeah. Remaining all are uh, optional. So when That's you nice. when you go when you when you go to MM01, what can you see here? Basic data. These are many tabs, right? Yes. Sales text, purchasing, purchasing order, MRP1, MRP2. So these are all related to those data, sales data, right? So we may or may not create uh, these additional data. Okay. 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 So let's go to header data structure. Double click on the associated type. What is the material number field name? In Mara table. Tell me what is the material number field name in Mara table? Matner. Atner, right? Yes. But here in the BAPI structure, they are using material number field name as material. <laughs> okay. Type is same, type is Matner only, but material number field name they are using material as material. Okay. What is industry sector yeah. in Mara table? Sector. Industry sector is MBRSH. The field name of industry sector is MBRSH. But here in the BAPI structure, what they are using? IND underscore sector. IND underscore sector. Type is same. Type is MBRSH only. Data element. So what is the material type in Mara table? M-A-T-K-L, right? What is here in BAPI structure? Material type. Right? Material and material type. Mm -hmm. Material type. What is the other data we are using? Unit of measurement. Mm -hmm. Double click on this client to data structure. So in this client to data structure, mm -hmm. we have a material yeah. group, unit of measurement. Yeah. This is unit of measurement, base, base UOM, base UOM. But what is here in uh, Mara table? Mm -hmm. MEINS. Okay, here it is base unit of measurement, but data element is same. M E I N S only. Okay. So unit of measurement is in this structure, client data structure. Madam material text together, select just material group. No, we have material text only. We are not populating material group. So let's find where material text is. Okay. <laughs> 
So we don't have material text here. That should be somewhere in the different structure. Client data. Let's check client data. So only material text is pending here. We need to find the material text. Is there any structure with the MAKT? This is plant data. MARC is the plant table. MARA is the material master table. Is there any field with MAKT? Okay, in importing parameters, MAKT is not available. Check in changing parameters. It's not available. Check in tables. Yeah. yeah. MAKT is available in tables because you know why? Why they have given the table, table? Why they have given uh, material text as uh, table like parameter? Uh, it is a text data. That's why it is. Mm, why? Text data, why they have given it as a table like parameter? It is, it is convenient for the language. The reason is for one material, for one material, we may need to maintain in multiple languages, right? Yes. For each material, we may need to maintain multiple texts, maybe 10, 20 texts for each material, each text in a different language. That's why they have given it as internal table type. That's why we can populate multiple languages data and append to this internal table. Right? Okay. So that's why these are all uh, for one material. This data might contain multiple records. That's why they have given it in the tables. Okay. These are like internal okay. table structures. Now just call over all the function module in our program. Okay. So what are the structures we need here? What are the importing parameters we need here? Header data is required. In client data we have, uh, what is it? Um, in client data, what is the field we have? Is it material type? Unit of measurement. In client data, we have unit of measurement. That's why client data also required. If we are passing the plant and everything, we'll just delete all the unnecessary parameters. In tables, in tables, we need material description structure, right? Units of measurement. It is not required because we are passing only basic unit of measurement. Okay. okay. And then we need return parameter.
return parameter. This is the return parameter. I think I have deleted it. No. We'll call the BAPI again. So, so this is the return parameter. No. Now what we need to do we need to populate data and uh, to the data objects and pass those internal tables and work area structures to this BAPI function module is it anything new here no nothing nothing new just like how you pass importing and exporting parameters to the function module first to define the importing and exporting parameters which are suitable for this BAPI First thing is header data. We need to populate header data, right? Is it a work here yes. structure or is it a like structure? What is associated type? Is it structure only? Is, is it a work here like structure or internal table like structure? Work here like structure. It can accept single record. Define it here in the program data. Uh, LS underscore header type. This one. What is the next thing we need? Client data. Client data is also work area like structure. Define one uh, structure in the program. See, for client data, there is X structure. Observe here. Client data, one structure, and client data X. In client data, you can find all the fields. But in client data, <laughs> you'll have only flags, single field, character one fields. Why? Because whatever the field we are updating, we have to pass X to in this client data X structure. So there are different fields, right? We can pass X value for the fields. What are you are creating? Not, not for all the fields. Also, tell me why they have given these type of field names instead of Matner, MAKTL, MBRSH. Why they are using some plain names? Maybe it is convenient to understand. Mm. Yes, what did we discuss in the last class? BAPIs can be called by different third party systems, right? So, as a SAP consultant, you know what is MATNER, you know what is MKTL, you know what is MBRSH because you are a SAP consultant, you are familiar with those field names. But let's say some non SAP system is calling your BAPI. How can they understand what is MATNER, what is MBRSH, and what is MTRT? They cannot understand, right? Yes. That's why in BAPI structures, we need to use some plain names, which should be easy to understand for the third party systems. Okay? It is very important to remember okay why we use yeah. this kind of plain names because to make it understandable to make it readable okay so that third party systems can easily understand what is what is this field what is the purpose of this field so that they can pass the correct data okay okay Okay, define client X structure also. Client X type. What is the other structure we need? 
we need unit of uh, sorry material text right material text is in tables what is the type of this bappy underscore m a k t okay you have to pass it as an internal table okay what is this is it a structure or is it a structure only right structure bappy mac yeah when you use it in tables it will automatically work as internal table type when you use it in tables even the structure also okay oh. copy this whatever the parameters in table define it as internal table type standard table of makt also define one structure Bappy underscore M A K T. Now populate the data. So what are the inputs you are passing? What are the inputs we are passing? Industry sector, material type, material text, and data. Industry sector and material type is in header data, right? Yeah. What is the field name? I and D. I don't know. Sector. Yes, yes. Equal to whatever the data available in file. L S N S for the hyphen. I and D. And then material type, right? What is the field available in? Uh, material type. Sorry. MTRT. Field name is the SAP field name is MTRT. BAPI field name is uh, MATL type. Because BAPI can be accessed by external systems. That's why we are giving some plain names in the BAPI structures. Even if you are creating a new custom BAPI, you have to keep in mind that uh, you need to use some plain names instead of SAP tick.